All right, well, let's move on to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle because they will be deposed in a defamation case brought forward by her half-sister, Samantha Markle. So according to CNN, a judge just ruled, just a judge just made this ruling um, on February 7th. She is suing Meghan for defamation and injurious falsehood in response to the royal couple's CBS tell-all interview back in 2021. She alleges that Meghan made um, false and malicious statements about her in the interview and, um, you know, that 50 million people saw this. It aired in 17 countries. She also points to the book um, Finding Freedom, which, um, you know, was published and disseminated false and malicious statements about her and her family and her upbringing. Now, she initially sued Megan back in March of 2022, claiming that that she was not honest about her past or their father, Thomas Markle. And she attempted to have the meritless lawsuit. Megan attempted to have the lawsuit dismissed three months later. So what exactly does this mean? Will Harry and Megan have to get on trial and uh, talk about all of this so are they going to be testifying in this case christina yes we're gonna see megan markle and the prince testifying in court so obviously defamation the big issue is were the statements truthful and not only are the witnesses they're actually parties in this case they're the defendants so they're gonna have to show up no different from amber heard having to come and take the stand in a defamation case so expect fireworks because really the entire case will turn on were Megan's comments during her interview and in her book were they truthful? Oh my God! I, can this be televised, like an Amber Heard Johnny Depp uh, trial? Can Megan and Harry try to block that? Well, absolutely. Um, obviously, um, trials in this country there's a public presumption that they're televised. Now, there's some cases, usually criminal, to protect the criminal defendant too much publicity um, where a judge can say you know what i'm not going to allow cameras in the courtroom for this particular case but in state court generally there's a presumption and this is a civil case it's about money no one's going to jail so i would expect to see cameras in the courtroom in a case like this wow do you can this be settled outside of courtroom before it gets to that point and do you foresee harry and megan doing so so it doesn't become this media spectacle it certainly can, and the vast majority of civil cases do settle. But I don't know what Samantha's demanding. Does she want tens of millions of dollars, or is this a publicity stunt, or does she really want to clear her name? Because obviously we know that's what Johnny Depp wanted, right? It wasn't about getting money from Amber Heard. He wanted to clear his name. So until we know what Samantha's demands are and really what she's trying to get out of this case, there's the very real possibility that we see a trial here. Yeah, is it um, is it going to be hard for Samantha? Is it hard for somebody to prove somebody made um, statements about them that are not true? I mean, we saw it happen with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, but is that unusual? Well, we don't usually see defamation trials here in the United States. Mm -hmm. We see them a lot more in Europe. The United States tends to be very First Amendment friendly, especially when you're dealing with these sort of public matters. Now, of course, Samantha is not a public person. So, you know, when, when, you, when you're a celebrity or you're a politician, it's harder to win defamation cases because you have to show actual malice. But, right. you know, Samantha is not Megan and she's not the prince. So she doesn't have to meet that high burden. And obviously when, you know, Megan and the prince give these interviews, a lot of people see it. So if she can show that she was actually damaged and these statements were false, she may have a chance of winning, but really the jury is going to have to determine, is this really about false statements or is this trying to extract money out of your rich and famous sister? Right. And it seems like she's calling on her father to also testify. Jason Knopf, who was, um, you know, who accused Megan of bullying uh, Kensington Palace staff. So it seems like she's um, asking a lot of people to kind of speak on her behalf and back her up. Well, that's important. And again, I, I hate to keep talking about depth be heard, but one of the reasons that Johnny won was because he had so many witnesses on his side that were supporting him. And, you know, whenever it's a he said, she said, or she said, she said in this type of case, you want to get independent witnesses. Now, I don't know if those are necessarily independent ones, but you want people that don't have a financial stake in the lawsuit. And I think there are many reasons why Johnny Depp won. I think he was a much better witness and Amber Heard was caught in some lies. But one of the other reasons was he had so many people come forward and testify on his behalf that were independent or very good witnesses. So Samantha's going to want to win this case. She's going to need to take a similar approach, line up those witnesses and make sure they testify. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.